Hey everybody, it's me, Little True Bottom L. And today, I have a minifigure from The Hobbit. As you can see, it is Asak, the Defiler, also known as the Pale Orc. And, yeah, he's awesome. So I know that all of you Hobbit fans out there, really, I'm at at LEGO. Oh, I just got a Skype message. Yeah, they're really mad at LEGO because they didn't make Asok in uh, the Bog Attack. Instead, they um, put in an arc that is already dead at, in that scene, so that doesn't make any sense. Um, but yeah, LEGO has actually just um, released a um, uh, an Asok minifigure, though it is an exclusive minifigure for um, San Diego Comic Con. And I know that a lot of you will not be able to go there, and many of us will never get hands on one of those figures. So that will that just suck, man. Duh. But I, yeah, I made this custom minifigure because yeah, I just want Essek. He's awesome, and I also made this long before um, the the figure was released. But um, yeah, I, I really hope they will put him in a set some sometime. It, that that would be awesome. But um, for now, I have my custom minifigure, and I want to show it to you. So as you can see, on his body he has a lot of scars, um, and that was actually kind of difficult to do because yeah, in in the movie he has just scars all over his body and it was kind of difficult to to make that into a lego figure because yeah i could not just then he would be an entirely red figure <laughs> no but um i am um, i think what which what i come up with looks not bad i think um and i also the the belt here down here, I also think that turned out pretty nicely, and especially the legs was difficult. And it's the second figure I've ever done leg printing on, so it was um, at least it's much better, a hundred times better than on my last figure, which was um, uh, James Norrington. You probably seen that video well, so put a, a link to that in the end of this video um, and it just I think it turned out really really great um, as yeah I'll just pick him up so you can see it better as you can see here and uh, got this shiny effect so it actually looks like like uh, like it if it had been been Lego so I, I just it turned out awesome and it goes um, on the side here, um, I didn't put anything on the back because Lego does not do that. So yeah, I, I, I usually try to to make my figures as something that Lego could have done. Um, so yeah, that's why I didn't put it on the back. Um, then you can see his uh, his maze here. It's pretty simple. It's just two pieces. It's just a stick and this Technic um, piece, but it it uh, it looks pretty good. So yeah, the head was d uh, definitely the most difficult part of him because yeah, just heads are normally difficult to do, um, and I normally don't really make heads because. I normally just um, make torsos for figures that already exist, so I just use the heads from them and just make the torso. But on this one, I had to make the head because Lego haven't um, made a head that could work for Asag, right? Well, now they have because now they have made Asag figure. But anyway, um, so with the eyes, I I try to represent what. Uh, Lego normally do with um, unhuman creatures like um, like um, on the other orcs here, as you can see, they're they're just um, um, a specific color. It's not black with that little white spot inside. Um, so I, I try to do that. They also have done that on yeah, let me see uh, on some other 
things uh, like um, David Jones. They've also done that on him. Mm, actually, I think it looked pretty bad on on, on Jed. Yeah. Anyway, um, but I didn't really think it works that well. I don't know. It it's um, it's okay. And I yeah, I, I I worked in the head for a while, and this was the best that I came up with. So yeah. Mm, I probably won't change it, but maybe we'll we'll see. Um, also, as I c he kind of needs ears because it actually looks pretty weird with just normal head. Um, but well, the only earpiece that could kind of fit is um, the one from the Goblin King battle. Mm, but I just think they're too big for Asok, and also I. I don't like painting Lego pieces. I, I would need to, to paint them white if, if it should uh, fit to Azok. So, yeah, just gave him a, just a hit with no ears. I could also try to, to print on the ears and the sides here, but that looked horrible, so I just took it off. Let's take a look at the back. There's not really much going on back here, but as you can see, it also has some, uh, some, some scars. And and then you can see the belt continuing on the back here, and yeah, of course, no back branding. So, um, yeah, that was the back and the front, and yeah, everything, I guess. So, if you want to use my decal for ASOC on your own custom ASOC figure. You can go to my Flickr account, um, there'll be a link in the description, We can download it. You can also check out other of my customs and also mocks I made and posters I made in Photoshop. So yeah, pl yeah please, if you do use my, um, my, um, my decal here, please give me credits because yeah, I, I use a lot of time on my custom minifigures. It's not just something you do in half an hour. So, and um, also, yeah, go like me on Facebook and follow me on Instagram. Links will also be in the description. And yeah, I don't think there's anything else. Just yeah, goodbye.